Flint. Flint is a hard, sedimentary cryptocrystalline form of the mineral quartz, categorized as a variety of chert. It occurs chiefly as nodules and masses in sedimentary rocks, such as chalks and limestones. Inside the nodule, flint is usually dark gray, black, green, white or brown in color, and often has a glassy or waxy appearance. A thin layer on the outside of the nodules is usually different in color, typically white and rough in texture. From a petrological point of view, flint refers specifically to the form of chert which occurs in chalk or marley limestone. Similarly, common chert occurs in limestone. The exact mode of formation of flint is not yet clear, but it is thought that it occurs as a result of chemical changes in compressed sedimentary rock formations, during the process of diagenesis. One hypothesis is that a gelatinous material fills cavities in the sediment, such as holes bored by crustaceans or mollusks and had this becomes silicified. This hypothesis certainly explains the complex shapes of flint nodules that are found. The source of dissolved silica in the porous media could be the spicules of siliceous sponges. Certain types of flint, such as that from the south coast of England, contain trapped fossilized marine flora. Pieces of coral and vegetation have been found preserved like amber inside the flint. Thin slices of the stone often reveal this effect. Puzzling giant flint formations known as paramoudra and flint circles are found around Europe, but especially in Norfolk, England, on the beaches at Beast and Bump and West Runton. Flint sometimes occurs in large flint fields in Jurassic or Cretaceous beds. For example, in Europe, flint was used in the manufacture of tools during the Stone Age as it splits into thin, sharp splinters called flakes or blades when struck by another hard object. This process is referred to as napping. In Europe, some of the best tool making flint has come from Belgium, the coastal chalks of the English Channel, the Paris Basin, Bayan Jutland, the Senonian deposits of Rugen. Grimes Graves in England, the Upper Cretaceous Chalk Formation of Dobruja on the Lower Danube, the Cenomanian Chalky Moral Formation of the Moldavian Plateau in the Jurassic deposits of the Krakowaria and Kursimianki in Poland, as well as of the Lagern in the Jura Mountains of Switzerland. Flint mining is attested since the Paleolithic, but became more common since the Neolithic. When struck against steel, a flint edge produces sparks. The hard flint head shaves off a particle of the steel that exposes iron which reacts with oxygen from the atmosphere and can ignite the proper tinder. Prior to the wide availability of steel, rocks of pyrite would be used along with the flint, in a similar way. These methods are popular in woodcraft, bushcraft, and amongst people practicing traditional fire-starting skills. A later, major use of flint and steel was in the flintlock mechanism, used primarily in flintlock firearms but also used on dedicated fire-starting tools. A piece of flint held in the jaws of a spring-loaded hammer, when released by a trigger, strikes a hinged piece of steel at an angle, creating a shower of sparks and exposing a charge of priming powder. The sparks ignite the priming powder in that flame, in turn, ignites the main charge, propelling the ball, bullet, or shot through the barrel. While the military use of the flint lock declined after the adoption of the percussion cap from the 1840s onward, Flintlock rifles and shotguns remain in use amongst recreational shooters. Flint and steel used to strike sparks were superseded by ferrous arium. This man-made material, when scraped with any hard, sharp edge, produces sparks that are much hotter than obtained with natural flint and steel, allowing use of a wider range of tinders. Because it can produce sparks when wet and can start fires when used correctly, ferrous arium is commonly included in survival kits. Ferrocerium is used in many cigarette lighters, where it is referred to as flint. Flint, napped or unnapped, has been used from antiquity up to the present day as a material for building stone walls, using lime mortar, and often combined with other available stone or brick rubble. It was most common in parts of southern England, where no good building stone was available locally, and brick making not widespread until the later Middle Ages. It is especially associated with East Anglia but also used in chalky areas stretching through Hampshire, Sussex, Surrey and Kent to Somerset. Flint was used in the construction of many churches, houses, and other buildings, for example the large stronghold of Framlingham Castle. Many different decorative effects have been achieved by using different types of napping or arrangement and combinations with stone, especially in the 15th and early 16th centuries. Flint pebbles are used as the media in ball mills to grind glazes and other raw materials for the ceramics industry. The pebbles are hand-selected based on color, those having a tint of red, indicating high iron content, are discarded. 
The remaining blue-gray stones have a low content of chromophoric oxides and so airless deleterious to the color of the ceramic composition after firing. Until recently flint was also an important raw material in clay-based ceramic bodies produced in the UK. In preparation for use flint pebbles, frequently sourced from the coasts of southeast England or western France, were calcined to around 1000 degrees Celsius. This heat process both removed organic impurities and induced certain physical reactions, including converting some of the silica to cristobalite. After calcination the flint pebbles were milled to a fine particle size. However, the use of flint has now been superseded by quartz. Because of the historical use of flint, the word flint is used by some potters, especially in the U.S., to refer to silicious materials that are not flint. Flint bracelets were known in ancient Egypt, and several examples have been found. Striped flint is today in use as a gemstone as well. While flint may be used in fire lighting, it should not be exposed to excessive heat, as from a fire. Due to uneven expansion, flint may fracture, sometimes violently, during heating. This tendency to fracture is enhanced by the fact that most samples of flint contain impurities that may expand to a greater or lesser degree than the surrounding stone. This tendency to fracture is similar, but not identical, to the tendency of glass to shatter when exposed to heat. To combat fragmentation, flint slash chert may be heat treated, being slowly brought up to a temperature of for 24 hours, then slowly cooled to room temperature. This makes the material more homogeneous and thus more nappable and produces tools with a cleaner, sharper cutting edge. Mineralogy Archaeology Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.